Okay. Let's try an example of how we can use a narrative to represent an algorithm. So let's say I want to find the area of a triangle. So I'm going to create an algorithm to find the area. Oops. Area of a triangle. Alright. Now I'm going to create my IPO diagram. I P O input processing output. What would I need? What instruction or what data do I need in order to find the area of a triangle? Okay. Now the area of a triangle is half the product of the base and the height. Or it could simply rep represent it like this. Let's see base and height over 2. Alright, so I will need the base and I will need the height. So I need to I need to get the base and get the height. And my output should be the area. Now what steps are needed in my processing? What do I need to do in order to get to the output? Now we're going to write that using narrative. What well, is it? Step one, you always start. Okay? That's always step one to start. Now step two, I can begin with my inputs. Now in order to get them, the computer have to ask the user to enter them. And the computer does this by prompting the user or asking the user for the specific value that you need. So I'm going to ask the computer, sorry not the computer, I'm going to ask the user for the base. So I can say ask for the base. Then I need to accept or get the base. Whenever I ask for something and the person and the user gives it back, I need to accept it. So I can either say accept the base or I can say get the base. So now I have the base. Now we need to do the same thing for the height. Ask for the height. Right. Get the height. Oh, no. Step six. I have the base and I have the height. So I have everything I need in order to find the area. Okay? Now, what do I need to do? I need to multiply because the multiplication is implied here. So it's B times F, B times H, sorry. So I multiply the base and the height. Okay, so after we multiply the base and the height, now we need to store the result. Now results are normally stored in variables. This is where variables come in. Now because we are, we are now beginning and we are dealing with narratives, we are not going to pay attention to the variable names right about now. We are just going to say that we are going to store the result. Store the result. Okay. Yeah. And step eight, we're going to divide. So after we have multiplied, then we divide the result by two. Because remember, this would be the base times the height. So this would be the product of the base and the height. And we still need to divide it by two in order to get the error. So we say divide. Result by 2. Then in step 9, we say we store 
the area because after this step the result I have is the area so I just say store the area step 10 you see display area so I'm, I'm telling the user what the answer is or what the area is and step 11 running out of space is to stop so I started here so I must ensure that I stop